paint out there. Good morning. It's Thursday, October 7th. I'm supposed to be over at Lowe's picking up some more adhesive and a couple more pieces of tile because we ran out yesterday. Because Ray, the flooring extraordinaire, is also the tiling extraordinaire. I'm going to show you some of his work in a second. So anyway, I'm supposed to be over at Lowe's picking up the stuff because it's easier for me to go over there and come back to Kingsburg. Make a long story short, I'm like a little kid sometimes. The granite got installed yesterday and I didn't see it because I got to tell you about the rest of my day yesterday, but I'm not going to do that right now. First, I'm going to show you the granite. Then I'm going to show you how the tile's coming out in the bathroom. You want to talk about exciting stuff? Take a look at this. Holy cow, if that black granite doesn't get you excited, I got to tell you, you better check your pulse. <laughs> I love this. Love it. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to get some black pulls for the uh, black pulls and handles for the cabinets. So it's going to bring out the color. The black just pops. I'll put kick plates down there. Now I can order the appliances, get the, uh, get the microwave, get the stove, get the dishwasher. I already got the refrigerator. Now my in-laws who are over in one of our houses, I just got them their, their new refrigerator like a year and a half ago, but they wanted another one. So I took that one. I'm gonna clean that up. It's stainless and see if I can get away with putting it in this house. Let me show you the tile. This is the bathroom. Holy cow, I friggin' love this. Holy cow, it looks like a designer came in with this. So the reason why I wanna I have to go out and get more tile is because that mosaic stuff is running around this way and Ray ran out. The reason why Ray ran out is because I really only wanted like three rows so I want to split these tiles in half and then just do a half a row but he used his own judgment and did full tiles I, I gotta tell you I like it better take a look at how he did his starter like you ever hear us saying you can't teach an, uh, an old dog new tricks well I'm not gonna say I'm an old dog but I never thought about doing it this way it's so much easier so he puts a, a nice level piece of wood in here to start the tiles. And if anybody has done tiling, they're probably going to be like, well, that's how I do it too, Harry. Well, not me. I used to level it off of the tub and start the, the tile right off the tub, which meant that it was a pain in the butt because tubs are never that level. This way makes it so much easier. And then come and put your cut piece next to the tub afterwards. I'm not saying I'm all bad and I'm all successful or, or I've got all this money or anything like that. I'm not saying that. What I'm about to say um, came to me, I guess, a couple of years ago is one of the biggest transitions for me in this business is going from like a blue collar mentality to a white collar mentality. I'm still in that blue collar mentality and, and I just, I'm not knocking one or the other, but I'm going somewhere with this. This is what I'm saying. When I have stuff done, being done over at a house that, that I own, that, I, that I've invested in, that's gonna, I'm either going to flip it or hold it as a rental. When like Ray's over here doing that and the granite's getting installed and Chris the Carpenter's out doing the, the, uh, the porches while I'm not at the house, I'm so, I'm so grateful. I get filled with like, I don't even know how to handle it. So I, I don't know if I'm using the right terminology, blue collar mentality versus white collar mentality, but my mentality has always been hands on Harry. <laughs> hey, that's kind of catchy, right? Hands on Harry! I do all of it. I'm not saying like that, like I pat myself up. I do all of it. Like, if I don't do it, who else is going to do it? And now I got guys over here doing stuff for me. I'm friggin' so grateful, so filled with gratitude. I, I got to tell you a quick story about what happened yesterday. So yesterday, last night, I go down to Atlantic City because my hard money lender was taking me out to dinner. The, uh, the loan officer had called me and said, there's a mortgage convention down there, and one of the owners wanted to take me out to dinner, and yeah, I felt special. And I mean, I did almost 10, I think I did nine loans with them, so. Anyway, I get down there, right? It's like 5.30 or something like that. I'm talking to the loan officer who's at the bar with a bunch of other guys that, that I've been in contact with. And they're drinking. They ask me what I want to drink. And I was like, nah, I'll just have a club soda. I'm like, no vodka? I'm like, nah, just club soda. They're like pressing it because you know how people get when they drink and you're not drinking? Maybe you don't know what that's like, but I don't drink. I don't mind going to a bar, but... Anyway, uh, after they asked me like a second time, like, are you sure? You don't want to vodka in there? And I was like, nah, I'm allergic to alcohol. And then here comes a punchline. Because when I drink, I break out 
in handcuffs. <laughs> now, if you never heard it, that's really funny, but you probably heard it a hundred times. It's not original. Anyway, here I go. I'm going to tell you where, where I fall short with some social skills. We were supposed to eat at like 6, right? It's like 5.30, 26. The loan officer and I are there, and uh, the owner guy that I never met before, he's either upstairs or another part, part of the casino. The loan officer says, I'm trying to get a hold of him now. I might have to push that back till 6.30. I didn't say it to him, but it's already pissing me off a little bit. He said 6. <laughs> I said, right, I'm going to go play out in the casino for a little bit. Now, I didn't, I didn't tell you guys this, but I won a little bit of money before I met up with the loan officer. I got there a couple minutes early, I had some free play, and I won some money. So I'm out in the casino and I'm playing. Now, I don't want to give all my money back to the casino, right? And I'm there and I'm playing. Well, 6.30 rolls around. No text, no call. 7 o'clock rolls around. No text, no call. 10 after 7, I'm in my car. <laughs> I'm leaving. <laughs> I get the valet to get my car. And I text the guy and I was like, hey, we'll do this another time. I got to go. Here's the point. Last night when I went there, because of the mortgage bankers uh, convention, there was a bunch of people in suits and, and, and dresses, dressed to the nine, and, and they had all the, the ties on and stuff. And I lived that life one time. I did mortgages for like 15 years. I had the corner office in, in Florida and, you know, living a high life. I shouldn't say living a high life, but, you know, I had a couple houses and material possessions and wore a shirt and tie every day. And it's not my thing. So when I walked into the Hard Rock, that's where it was at. That's my go-to place, too. Oh, and by the way, it's not that fun going down to Atlantic City without my bride. I still love Atlantic City, but it's just not the same. So I had that going on for me. So Diane wasn't with me. I walk in, there's a bunch of, bunch of people in there with suits and ties on. And everybody's drinking, and I'm not waiting to eat dinner. <laughs> so I left. So that's what happened yesterday. I wanted to tell you guys. So I don't know if you can see the trim. Yeah, I think you can see the trim. I trimmed this out today because I got to trim it out before the backsplash because the backsplash is going in tomorrow. Ray's putting it in. Now, I left this piece of trim off because that's where the microwave's going to go. I got the microwave today. I have to trim the trim. That's kind of fun to say, right? So, I want to mark it out so that Ray can put the backsplash in tomorrow and he's going to the edge of that cabinet and the edge of that cabinet. It's going to look fantastic. This is what it's going to look like. Beveled subway tile. It's, it's simple, it's clean, beautiful, and I got black pulls for the, uh, for the cabinet, so it's really going to pop. And I was all kinds of excited this morning when I saw the, uh, the bathroom tile going up, right? So, I'm still excited. I love it. I love this tile. I love the look. It's like so classy. Don't... Don't pay attention to that brown molding. I'm going to paint that gloss white. I had to put something up. But here's the, uh, the tub surround. That has to be supported or else it'll fall down right now. But so classy. And even this corner, I went over it with Ray this morning. And they fit right in there. It's beautiful. I'm calling it a day. Tomorrow, the backsplash will go in. The uh, tub surround will get grouted. It's going to be Friday tomorrow. TGIF. I'm going to start doing some more of the, uh, the baseboard molding in here and the, uh, the casing, maybe start working on the windows in here, but this thing is coming together. I'm happy with the way it's coming out. Having an awesome evening.